a pick a card reading, guys. Question today is Sony. Tell me about my next lover. No exes. Don't tell me. Sony, don't you, don't you, good Sony. Look at me. I'm the captain now. That's what y'all saying to me. Sony, I'm the captain now. Tell me about my next lover. And don't bring no exes into the mix. Okay? No, okay. I got it, y'all. I got it. All right? So we have three choices before us today. Choice number one is going to be abundance. Choice number one is abundance. Choice number two is growth. Choice number two is growth. And choice number three is change. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, guys, so it may not resonate with everyone, but should it resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments, smash that like button for me. Thank you very much. If it doesn't resonate, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, you must have quit. If it doesn't fit, let it fly. Leave or take with you what resonates. Leave behind everything else, all right? So on the count of three, let's take our deep breath to get started. One, two, three. Pick your card. Is it going to be abundance? Is it going to be growth? Or is it going to be change? No X is allowed, Sony. Do you, Sony? All right, now. Tell me about my next lover. Don't bring no X's in this mix. I got y'all. I got y'all. You ain't got to threaten my life. I got you, okay? So, without further ado, let's go on and get this party started. So, universe... People who have chosen abundance, tell me about their next lover, not their ex-lover. Tell me about their next lover. What can you tell me about their next lover? What will this relationship be like? Tell me about their next lover. Universe, be as clear as possible. Tell me about their next lover. All right, tell me about the next lover universe. Next lover, not the ex lover. Tell me about next lover, not the ex lover. Tell me about the next lover. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. Tell me about the next lover universe. Ooh, Ten of Cups. Also have the Six of Wands. Tell me about the next lover. Tell me about the next lover. Tell me about their next lover, Universal Card. Tell me about their next lover. Tell me about that next lover. Whoa. And Goddess of Swords. So, bottom of the deck, we do have the Nine of Wands. So, you've had a really rough time. Really rough time in love, right? We just shift these down so we can see all of them. It's been some difficulty in love. And... You know, I think for the most part, you all have been focusing on yourselves. You've been really pouring into your own cup, really like not having it. Like what? Jigga what? Jigga huh? Your love. Love should have brought your home. Yeah, I didn't even say it right. Whatever. Love should have brought your ass home last night. That's how y'all feel about love. Something happened in the past. We ain't going to go there, though. And you've just been looking towards the future. You, you've been really focused on yourself and, quite honestly, focused on your own passions. You have three wand cards here. We have the nine of wands. We have the seven of wands. And we have the six of wands. So the six, seven, and the nine. So um, I think you've been cut off. Some of you all may have been divorced in the past. Um, or divorcees, but you just cut yourself off and just been focusing on yourself and really being a warrior, really like attacking your life in like this warrior mode, 
going after your passions, remembering yourself, remembering what makes you happy, what makes you feel good, what makes you laugh, what makes you smile and really focused on yourself. But it's the, it's the fact that you've been focusing on yourself, that there has been space made for this person to come in and they are coming in. So there's a rainbow connection happening here. I feel like you may have children from a previous marriage or maybe they have children from a previous marriage. This is going to be very blissful and this person is not gonna be intimidated by this facade that you're wearing here with this goddess of swords. This person sees all of your guards here. Ooh, they see your guards. They're not frightened by them. I just looked up under the deck. Let's put that card there. And you have the goddess of cups. And this is talking about someone who has a lot of emotion, but who has a lid on their cup. So you're not easily swayed, right? They can come and try to swoon on you, but you're not easily swayed. You are focused on yourself. And I feel as though, because previously you lost yourself in a, in a marriage or a situationship, relationship, whatever you want to label it, um, you're, you're not going to do that again. And your life is pretty abundant. There's an overflow. If it hasn't come into your life yet, it's coming. But there's an overflow happening. And it's the fact that you focused on yourself, the fact that you've you know, really brought in your own overflow, brought in you know, focused on your passions, had that drive, that ambition and made space for this overflow to come in. Um, it's, 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 it's rain and men. And there's going to be someone who truly adores you until the end of time. I'll be there for you. So let's get a few more cards. Is there marriage or babies on the horizon universe? It's sex. Sex is on my mind. Ooh, look at that. Two aces. Two aces. Hey, hey, two aces. So you got two aces? Marriage? Babies? What's this relation looking like? Two of wands? A lot of wands. Just be sure to tame that passion. Don't let that passion get out of hand because passion quickly changes to anger, right? Yeah. See, underneath that um, exterior, that, ooh, bottom of the deck, lover's car. Underneath that hardcore exterior of the queen of swords, there is really this um, anxiety about allowing someone into your space again, only to be hurt again, or maybe only to you know, come to the realization that it, it's not going to work out. And I don't think that's this because you, unlike last time, this time you've actually done the work and the universe is rewarding you. Like I said, with these new beginnings, because you've made space, because you focused on yourself, you're being rewarded. You're very clear now with that Ace of Swords, now that you've been crowned, you're very clear about what it is that you will and will not accept. There just has to be balance with that clarity as well. And then there is some type of creative passion that I feel is going to link you all together. And they may even help you bring some creative venture into fruition. Um, I feel as though they are going to be very motivational and inspirational, and they're also going to be motivated and inspired by you. But this is definitely a decision that will lead you to new... Ooh, you got three aces on the board. That will lead you to um, vast horizons. Like, I mean, there's no end in sight. The abundance that's coming to you, um, it's, it's really... The happiness that you feel on the inside will really overflow into the outside. So don't allow this anxiety to get the best of you. Don't get stuck in your past, right? Allow this person to come in and love you because you do have guards up. Look at this on the six of wands and then the seven of wands. You got a lot of guards up and then you're showing up as the queen of swords. So listen to Mario, baby, you should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need. Hey, good love and affection. 
Make me a mm -hmm, mm -hmm, show you the way love's supposed to be. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. They're going to show you just, they're going to honor you. That's it. They're going to honor you. Everything about you, they're going to honor you and treasure you and really love you beyond your guards and gates. That's not going to, you know, that's not going to scare them or stop them. And they're going to start off with this small offer that will quickly become this bigger offer because they're not afraid of you. And that makes sense because they're the emperor. They ain't afraid of you. Oh, you got that sword. Look how he looking at her cockeyed. The hell you got? You, girl, put that damn sword down. You ain't finna cut nobody. The hell you think you are, right? They're not afraid. And they're gonna serve as your protector. Because this is a powerful person coming into your life. So they will be your protector and you will feel safe with them. Let's bring that to the foreground. Yeah, you'll feel safe with them. They're going to be, if you have children, they're going to be very kind to your children. And they're going to teach your children about love through the way in which they love you. It's beautiful. All right. So I hope you liked it. Let me know what happens. And keep focusing on yourself, because if they haven't entered your life yet, they about to. So, warm it up, Chris. I'm about to. Because that's what I was born to do. All right. So, let's move on. Moving on with the moving on. Moving on with the moving on. So, universe, people who chose growth. <clears throat> growth universe. Might help if I put the card up, huh? All right. People who chose growth. Tell me about their next lover. No ex is allowed. Tell me about the next lover, not the ex lover. We need to know about the next lover, not the ex lover. Universe, tell us about the next lover, not the ex lover. Tell us about the next lover, not the ex lover. Six of Pentacles. First card out. Universe, tell us about... The next lover. Woo-hoo! Ace of Pentacles. Universe, tell us about the next lover, not the ex-lover. Seven of Swords. And one more. Tell us about the next lover, not the ex-lover. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. All right. So, bottom of the deck, we have the world card. All right, so this person is going to come into your life like a thief in the night. This person is going to show up very unexpectedly. This person has worked their way up. They may have come into some money through like an inheritance or something. Um, but I feel as though um, <clears throat> this person is going to give to you. And I think that you are coming into a lesson of receiving because... You have always given in the past and that has created a type of imbalance within you. And so the universe is bringing you into a lesson or a time of receiving. So this is someone who either has um, some huge wits about them, right? Jumping from the ace to the 10 of pentacles is a huge leap, right? That's a quantum leap pretty much. Um, but this person is like willing to share everything that they have with you. And um, I think that this may start off as like a secretive relationship or they may shield you. And there could be some like preconceived notions in regards to that, but it's just because they adore you, they'll adore you and really want to get to know you. And not only that, but this person works a lot. You don't get go from the ace to the 10 by just like sitting on your ass. This person is building an empire at the, at the moment. And so um, they may there may be periods of time where you don't hear from this person or something. And you got to really be grounded. Like that's why you chose growth is because that's your lesson. You got to be grounded because this person is really building a life for themselves and whoever they'll be sharing their life with. So um, this person may travel or be like live abroad or take you traveling with them. 
So I wouldn't get, I wouldn't be too concerned with like not hearing from them because this this person is pretty much mind on my money and my money on my mind kind of person. So let's get some more about this next lover. Yeah, see, this person may have come from nothing and they turn nothing into something. Now, pimping, that's the savior. Kanye told us that, y'all. So it's like this person doesn't want to not have. This person had some type of lack mentality or saw their parents, witnessed their parents go through some type of lack mentality back in the past. And they don't ever want to go through that again. So this person is ensuring that they will always have wealth. I get that. Um, you have the Knight of Cups here. So this person is not going to show their full emotion either. This person is, I don't want to say emotionally unavailable, but the way in which they communicate their love is very different. And they are very romantic, very sweet, very kind. But when things get tough, like if there's an imbalance of emotion, this person will hide inside of their shell because there's a crab underneath that horse. So this person is being divinely guided towards you too because they're sitting under the stars there. But just know like your emotions got to be in check because this is not a clingy person. This is someone who will go off to work. They will travel for a living or travel period. And you can't be the queen of swords ready to cut them off. You can't do that because you're going to miss out on somebody good. It's, it's really meant for you to to put your sword down and chill out because I don't see that this person is like not good for you but I just think that this person wants to make sure that they are building a legacy they're building a legacy they're creating a legacy here they don't want to be um without ever and so yeah see periods of stagnation there may be periods where you feel like this person isn't around or um, they're ghosting you or something like that. It's not that this person is very busy because they're, they're truly trying to build an empire, but they want to be able to share that with someone. They're not a stingy person. So tell us more about this relationship. Yep. So yeah, like I said before, this person may not come straight out and talk about their emotions. They may hold back or seemingly be emotionally unavailable. Um, but I feel like it's the way in which this person was raised. I don't think that, you know, love was shown the way that we sometimes idealize it. And you need to take that into consideration because it's not that this person doesn't know how to love. It's just that their love language is very different. And if you can translate, you know, or learn to speak their love language, this could be very, very healthy. Again, I do think there's distance between you all, whereas they may live far from you or abroad from you but yep see this person is a hard worker eight of pentacles here hard hard worker this person so hard that this person is jumping from the ace to the ten they this person is maybe into like development or property something like that um two of swords but i think it's going to cause you some fears and some heartaches and I think it's going to put you at a crossroads. You got to make sure that you really get rooted. Because this person ain't doing nothing. See? Seven. Now we got the seven of pentacles. It's, this person ain't doing nothing but putting in the work. And this person will be receptive and open to hearing your concerns. But you got to be grounded so that you ain't like, you ain't fucking call me and you ain't this and you ain't that. You've abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore. And they're going to be like, what? Girl, I ain't abandoning you. I've been, I've been, they got me, got me working day and night. That's it. Got me working, working day and night. This person is going to be big time. They really are. And they want to be able to take care of their parents. They want to be able to take care of their partner. Like this isn't so they can show both. This is because of some experience that they had in the past that had to do with lack that they don't ever want to experience again. And they want to be able to share that with others though. It's not in a vain way. It's just, and I get that because I, that's me. Like I had those issues when my mother and father were divorced when I was younger and just living with my mother and going through a period of lack and coming from having things, I never want to experience that again. And so I get this, right? 
So this person is just going through this, this process where they're building wealth. They're building a legacy to make sure that you all are never without so that they can provide a happy life for all those around them. That's it. And it's really a transformation. It's really a transformation because, you know, when you go through a spiritual transformation, it's not really about lack. It's about abundance. And so this person sees clearly, uses the law of attraction, is just like they don't want to be without. They don't ever want to be struggling like that again. And so this person will be very wealthy, but they will be willing to share it. Okay? So that's what I have for you. All right, let's move on. So universe, people who chose reading number three, change. I can change, I can change. Tell us about the next lover, not the ex lover, universe. Tell us about the next lover not the ex-lover universe. Come on now. I don't want to get beat up today. They didn't already threaten my life at the beginning. Universe, tell us about their next lover. Strength card. Tell us about their next lover. Not the ex-lover. We have the nine of wands. Tell us about their next lover, not their ex lover. Queen of Shields. Tell us about their next lover, not their ex lover. Woo. And Death Card. So you both are going through a transformation here. More so you. But you both are going through a transformation here. Both have been wounded in a certain way and are really like at your wits end. Like what more do you want from me in that old ugly Tyrese face? What more do you want from me? And so change. Yeah, I did like that just jumped into my awareness. So there is change on the horizon where you are now shifting through uh, the, the end of that death phase, the end of the transformation, you know, realizing your resilience and being brave enough and courageous enough to keep moving forward. So this person is resilient and they see beauty in your darkness. See, and you come out victorious, six of wands, come out victorious, strong again, healed. See all that blue? Healed. So this person is going to see you as being very victorious. And when you tell them your story and what you've been through, this person is going to um, really be inspired by it. And it's going to really turn them on too, because there is strength within you. And no matter what you go through, you always make it out on top. And so this is a divine connection indeed, because you have the lover's card there. You'll be meeting your counterpart next. Yep, Nine of Shields. On your way to becoming the Emperor or the Empress because that Nine of Shields is instrumental in that journey, right? So obtaining your confidence, you've been through a process where your world was, or the rug from underneath was pulled from underneath you because you, you the things that you used to have, the ideas that you used to hold on to, none of that exists anymore and none of it serves you anymore. And so you had to hit ground zero and begin again. And this person what is going to be waiting for you to shift with you from those rough waters into that smoother sail, right? You are really mastering your life at this point. And this person is going to find that so intriguing and you're going to meet them on this journey. Here they go. And now we have a couple. See, now we have a couple. This, this person had status. And the lesson that you're going to receive from this person is that you have to focus on yourself. This person is going to show you how to focus on themselves because even though these two are counterparts here, this is the king and queen of shields. Even though they're counterparts, look at their backgrounds. Even in the snow, look at how abundantly green his kingdom is. Now look at how barren hers is. 
So it's, you know, a balance, a good balance. This person is not going to just take from you. This person is not going to abuse you. This person is not going to neglect you. But this person is not going to be clingy either. And they're not going to allow you to be clingy or extra dependent upon them either. This is not going to be a codependent relationship. And so this person is going to bring a lesson into your life where they are talking or teaching you about taking care of yourself and putting yourself first in a very healthy way. This is a good connection. And this is a lesson that you need to learn, especially at this point. It's vital and it will help you along your empress journey or emperor journey. And then you have the two of swords here. So there, there will be some resistance because you've come from such a dark period that you will want to recreate what you just left. But this person is going to ensure that you apply the lessons from the past into this situation, that you remove the blockages from your heart and realize that you can make a dollar out of 15 cents. They're going to help you with that nine of pentacles energy so that you can end the cycle once and for all and shift. So they're coming in right at the end of this cycle of darkness, this dark night of the soul. And they're going to ignite some passion within you, the likes of which you've never even experienced before. And they're really going to be inspired by your journey, but they're not going to baby you. They're not going to do the journey for you. They're really going to, you know, reestablish that, that fire within, so to speak, three of wands. And this is really what you've been waiting for. Ain't this what you came for? Don't you wish you came more? Girl, what you waiting for? Mm, come on. Yeah. 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 This is going to be a very cathartic, very healing relationship for you. And it's going to teach you a lot about yourself. I do see babies on the horizon. Um, I do see, I, I just see a solid relationship with a very strong lesson for you. I do think this person is a counterpart of yours. I think they're more so a soulmate than anything, um, but they're coming in to bring a lesson of transformation, to show you your own resilience, to show you your, your passion, um, to remind you of how important and how vital it is to take care of yourself in this situation. So let's get a few more cards on this relationship let's move all of them right there a few more cards in this relationship babies marriage yeah see teaching you about teamwork and you know not just feeling like you have to do the work by yourself being there with you and putting you back up on that pedestal so that you can put yourself up on the pedestal and i think that it you know the fact that it's not going to be a codependent relationship a fact that the fact that you are going to learn about your own independence and the fact that this love will set you free is going to scare you, but it's going to also teach you to choose yourself and to choose to, you know, create your own world as you see fit and not leave that in the hands of another. See? And there's going to be love here. There's going to be love here that shifts you out of an ending into a new beginning. Yep. Gives you your strength back. You got the strength card here twice. And look who decided to show up at the bottom of the deck. The Empress card. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to... This relationship is going to confuse you because this person is, is going to teach you a lesson about focusing on yourself. Yet being a part of something else. Being a part of a relationship but being independent in love. And the lesson in love is always liberation. And it's a beautiful lesson if you would just embrace it. So it's not going to take on um, relationships that you will be able to identify with. Like you won't be able to go talk to your best friend and be like, girl, he did this and he did that. Or, hey, homie, hey, shawty, let me tell you what she did for. It ain't gonna be nothing like that. You know, because it's not going to be a codependent relationship and it's not supposed to take on um, something familiar. This is new. You didn't go through that dark night of a soul to come out and do the same thing over again. You came to be set free. And so this relationship is going to set you free. So that's what I have for you. I hoped it helped.
Y'all, everybody out there, y'all better stay down. It's a marathon.